The way FDA uses big data is dependent upon the stage of drug development. So it would list three different areas um, of drug development and we'll go through the ways in which we use it. Three areas, preclinical, clinical, and then post-marketing. Now, the questions that we're trying to answer preclinical are might relate to the drug structure and how it compares to other drug structures to help inform what might be safety signals regarding that therapeutic. Uh, also trying to understand from the drug its mechanism of action to ensure that once it's put in people that an effect, a potentially beneficial effect, might be realized. Going to clinical uh, setting, the questions regarding big data start translating into what might be the first dose to a put in or to administer to patients, and so the, our, and this would be driven based upon allometric scaling and what has been built up history of how drugs are administered. Other big data applications uh, in clinical also include development of disease drug trial models, and what these are trying to do is understand what what is the underlying disease, how the drug is affecting that, and to ensure, evaluate different trial scenarios to help ensure that when the drug is studied, that informative information is returned so that to determine is the drug actually working in patients, and if not, what might be the reason for that? Is it a safety-driven event? Is it a wrong population? Other questions in clinical or trying in the clinical stage of development are trying to identify what studies themselves might be necessary. Pharma physiologically based pharmacokinetic modeling is being applied to these purposes and this model, PBPK modeling henceforth, um, is, is a, a system of mathematical equations that approximates physiology, connectivity between organs, drug metabolism, absorption, distribution, and excretion. And what these models are being used for is to help inform wh whether some intrinsic, extrinsic factor studies may be necessary going forward, um, or whether all these studies are necessary in a development program. The third element tallies with post-marketing, and so even once a drug is approved, there continues to be evaluation. The big data questions that might be asked there are trying to use accumulated usage information to better identify any emerging safety signals. Is the response consistent what was seen from the trials? And also to ask questions about if there were underrepresented populations in the original registration program, is a different efficacy safety signal being observed in that group? Um, once more patients are being administered the drug than what might have been receiving it during the registrational trials.